Okay, jokes aside, let's actually talk about who could potentially be in the next Mario Kart Booster Course Pass wave. So, looking at the classic Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart actually featured Donkey Kong Jr. instead of Donkey Kong. So, you could make the argument that DK Jr. is going to get in. Uh, but, I just don't see that being a reality, considering DK Jr. really isn't a character anymore. And yes, he appeared in Mario Kart Tour, uh, but really, that was just for retro nostalgia, not for anything real. Then, of course, our eight racers from Mario Kart 64 are represented, including the cut racer, Kamek. For those who don't know, originally Donkey Kong was not going to be in Mario Kart 64, and Kamek was going to be playable. But now Kamek is coming with Wave 5, uh, and even though they say that Kamek hails from Mario Kart Tour, we know that Kamek has deserved a spot in Mario Kart for a long, long time. So, from Mario Kart Double Dash, now every single character is represented. Except for two. Diddy Kong, who is my first pick for who will show up in the Booster Course Pass, and Koopa Paratroopa. Um, let's be real, Koopa Paratroopa is not making it into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, and Diddy Kong is left as the only character that could come over. Now, we did get Birdo and Petey Piranha for the DLC, and these both come from Mario Kart Double Dash, so it would make perfect sense for Diddy Kong to join them. Moving right along to Mario Kart DS, every single character is represented except for one. Rob the Robot. Kind of a gimmick character that was really just there for the fans. Uh, very difficult to unlock. I never unlocked Rob as a kid, but some people might want to see Rob in Mario Kart. However, I don't see that as very likely, um, but he's always someone to think about. Of course, right after Mario Kart DS, we had Mario Kart Wii, some of the best courses in the series, and I'm so glad that us Mario Kart fans are eating. We've gotten all of the Wii courses coming into this game, but Who's left on the roster that hasn't made it in to Mario Kart 8? Well, the pretty blaring omission is Diddy Kong and Funky Kong. Every other character on this roster is in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe right now. So if you have to pick between a Kong, which one would you go for? Diddy Kong, who's had a longer history in Mario Kart and is more important to the Donkey Kong brand, or Funky Kong? Now, a lot of the fans are gonna pick Funky Kong because it's more of a fan favorite and you could even make the argument that it'd be easier to just basically reskin Donkey Kong. But I think that the effort to put in Diddy Kong is worth it, because Diddy Kong is a much more important character to the Mario series and specifically the Donkey Kong series. So, Mario Kart 7, probably the weirdest roster in the Mario Kart history. Uh, and once again, we're left with one character missing, and that's the Honey Queen. Now, I thought Wiggler was a surprising choice, and I was very glad to see Wiggler introduced for Wave 5, but I think that that's all they're going to bring from Mario Kart 7. I highly doubt we see Honey Queen make her way over into Mario Kart 7, so that leaves us with Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong is the most obvious choice. I am putting a 100% bet. I, there, there is a 100% chance that Diddy Kong makes it in, right? Out of the two slots, Diddy Kong has to be it. Diddy Kong was in Double Dash, he was in Wii, he's been missing this whole time. And I think that he really deserves the slot. All of the characters who have come from the Booster Course Pass have deserved spots on this roster. Birdo? Absolutely deserved a spot. Petey Piranha? Absolutely. Wiggler? Maybe a strange choice, but I would argue that yes, Wiggler deserves a spot on that roster. Kamek has absolutely deserved a spot on the Mario Kart roster. And Diddy Kong, it doesn't make sense that he wasn't in the base Mario Kart 8. So that leaves us with my second choice, Pauline. Why Pauline of all characters? I mean, it's only like she's been in every single Mario spinoff on the Nintendo Switch. Look, here's the thing. Nintendo is clearly trying to push Pauline as a main character from the Mario series. And I have no problem with that. Ever since they reintroduced her in Super Mario Odyssey, she has been appearing left and right in different Mario games and I think it's a good thing for the series. So I'd be very surprised if Pauline wasn't the choice for the last slot on the roster. But what if Nintendo decided to throw all of that out and do something that no one would have expected? Instead of ending with two characters, they end with eight. That's right. Nintendo could add a whole extra row. They added one character in wave three. They added one character in wave four. 
they added three characters in Wave 5, as opposed to the two that most people were expecting. So maybe instead of going from one to three back to two, they do one to three to eight. What characters could they add? Diddy Kong and Pauline, obviously, are the first two characters that I would add, but expanding beyond that, why not add Funky Kong or even Dixie Kong? Why not add Hammer Bros? Why not add Nabbit? You could have all sorts of characters from the Mario Kart series to make every Mario Kart fan happy. But let's be honest, they're not going to do that. 